I'm Deputy Chief Malik Aziz, uh, and to my left is Major Max Garin of Capers. <clears throat> the Dallas Police Department is currently investigating the disappearance of Marisol Espinosa. Ms. Espinosa was reported last seen leaving for work from her residence at 7700 Aurora Street on the morning of Tuesday, December 29th. Ms. Espinosa never showed up for work and was reported missing that same day. On January 1st, Ms. Espinosa's vehicle was found abandoned behind the Las Lomas Apartments at 6161 Trail Glen Drive. The Dallas Police Department is asking the public's assistance in locating Ms. Espinosa. Ms. Espinosa is 34 years old, 5'5", 125 pounds, black hair, and brown eyes. Ms. Espinosa, mother and kids moved in with an ex-boyfriend after a house fire on December the 12th, 2015. Youth Operations Missing Persons Investigations as a Want to Locate was conducted. We've interviewed family and friends. We increased the critical missing endangered person after a vehicle was found located at 6161 Trail Glen Drive. Crimes Against Persons is assisting with the investigation and currently interviewing possible witnesses and gathering evidence uh, to further the investigation. Dallas Police Personnel, searching. we have been searching various areas with assistance from our helicopter unit, our canine unit, mounted, and patrol resources. Youth and patrol personnel, along with search and rescue and mounted, we've been searching creek and storm drain areas, uh, we've been on foot and we've been on horseback, uh, riding, uh, looking for uh, anything that we can find related uh, to this case. We've looked in the Umpress area, Umpress Road, Umpress Recreational uh, Center area, uh, due to the close proximity in this location where the vehicle was last seen and recovered. The helicopter unit checked this area from above and on foot personnel searched the areas which I've mentioned and areas that the helicopter directed them to uh, that they could not see from the air. Southeast patrol personnel and other surveillance teams who work uh, in the area on special assignment to assist in checking vacant lots, verifying other locations, and any other thing, uh, any other lead uh, that has come to our attention. Uh, these are the facts as we know them right now, and we're still investigating it as a missing person uh, and we're actively uh, seeking out any information uh, into the disappearance of Marisol Espinosa. Uh, and we want to help the, uh, the family and the friends. Uh, and we want, we're prayerful and hopeful uh, that this comes uh, to a uh, resolution uh, that the family and police department uh, can, we, we all can understand. And so uh, it's been a, a Investigators and, and police personnel have been working very diligently, very hard uh, at trying to locate Ms. Uh, Marisol Espinosa. Uh, with that said, uh, I'll be happy to take uh, any one of your questions or uh, Major Max Garrett. Chief, I know that the family has been looking at surveillance video from the apartment complex, car dealerships along uh, Jim Miller, Luke 12. Have you spotted her vehicle in any of the surveillance videos? Well, anything related to the investigation, I'll pass over to Major Max Garrett. Sean, I'm not going to be much help to you. I'm going to tell you that I'm not going to go into any specific evidence that, that we may have. Uh, but I will say that we have devoted some uh, additional homicide detectives to assist uh, missing persons in, in gathering the evidence that you're talking about to look and try to locate that, uh, that video wherever it might be. What's puzzling investigators the most about this case right now? Simply her disappearance. Uh, and, and locating her as the, the, the primary goal, uh, locating her safe and well, uh, is uh, all of our goals. And um, we will continue to work toward that uh, until it becomes appropriate not to. Are there any realities that you guys have had to face or have to explain to the family as time has gone on without any sort of trace of her? You know, I think, I think as any American watching, uh, you, you you deal with missing persons cases or you see them on television, um, 
and, and the family experiences those those pains and those concerns uh, in each in their own way. And we have continued, to, number one, to do our job and to, to investigate the case and, and try to locate her again safely and, and then be that support um, uh, and, and help uh, locate her as quickly as we can. Has there been anything on social media that you've scoured through her social media accounts, uh, her cell phone, uh, ATM, debit card? anything at all to indicate any kind of activity uh, uh, after Tuesday uh, on things like her phone or debit card, credit card accounts, and anything at all that you've uncovered in social media? Uh, again, uh, those, are, those are all excellent points. Those are just a handful of things that the investigators uh, comb through uh, uh, from looking at phone records to, to receipts and, and the whole, whole gamut to try to locate her. But again, I, I won't go into what success, if any, we've had in locating uh, any kind of information that, that points to where she might be. Has there been any update the I'm not aware of any update on that. Uh, Chief Aziz, can you talk about how these kinds of searches work? You start at a narrow point and then expand from there, sir. You, you know there's about three miles from uh, 77 block of Aurora to uh, 6161 Trailblaze. How, how does the search work? Well, well it, it was very basic, Sean. What we were looking for uh, is in the last area that her vehicle was seen and recovered, uh, based on our experience and, and, and looking at things and seeing where anyone would wander off or anybody could be located. Uh, that's why we went to uh, wooded areas and uh, storm drainage area and high water areas and some very uh, treacherous uh, terrain. Uh, looking at it from, you know, uh, aerial view as well as having, you know, a lot of police personnel uh, comb through uh, wooded areas and, and go into places to, to see maybe uh, we could find something of, of some type of value to us uh, because we have a very great interest in, in locating uh, Ms. Espinosa. Uh, and so in, in, our, in our experience, uh, it leads us to believe that there are, you know, certain locations that we would want to look at to be more proactive. Uh, you know, I know the family is, is, is counting on Dallas Police Department, and, and we're, we're part of their family, too, so we want to make sure we do everything possible uh, for them. Uh, not uh, at this time. Uh, we're not, uh, we haven't completed it yet. We're, this is just the beginning, uh, and we don't, we don't plan on uh, ending anything on, until we get to where we need to be. So uh, we're, we're definitely looking at things and anything that we have from, from missing persons and other police personnel, we're, we're going to pass it along to uh, the CAPERS, you know, division uh, who have uh, resources uh, and some expertise in what they do, uh, and hopefully they can help us with it. But we're still actively looking, and that's why we're, we're asking the public uh, to help us out, uh, that they see a lot of things that, that happen, uh, occur out there, uh, and they may have some information that right now they don't even know, but by seeing this, uh, it may spark a, a memory or something that happened uh, in, in, in during those days that may lead us uh, to uh, some successful uh, conclusion uh, and, and something uh, that we desperately need to get resolved. Again, this is a, a missing persons case. Uh, there are no suspects. We continue to try to locate Marisol safe and sound.